guys, what is up and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Eileen from Makeup by Eileen. And if you're already subscribed to this channel, welcome back guys. Okay, so for today's video, I'm going to be playing with one of my first ever expensive high-end eyeshadow palettes I ever got. My mom bought it for me one year for Christmas or my birthday, I'm not sure which one it was and I haven't played with it in a long long time so I thought it would be fun to revisit some high-end eyeshadow palettes that I already have in my collection and pull them out from the dusty dusts of the drawer and bring it out and let's play with it and enjoy it once more. Okay so let's jump right into this video. Okay so for today's eyeshadow I decided this was my first ever expensive eyeshadow palette that my mother bought me um, so I thought that I would pull this guy out and give it a try I have actually broken the palette the clips at the back I've snapped off so it doesn't open and close like it should and this is the Tartlist Pro palette from Tarte and this was my first ever really expensive eyeshadow palette and if you're a makeup enthusiast like me, you know Tarte is flipping expensive, especially yeah, in where we stay in South Africa. So I thought we'd take this guy out and give it a try. It was my all-time go-to favourite. When I could see the pans were slightly denting, I kind of put it away. And I haven't revisited it in a long time until today. So let's open this guy up. As I said, I have broken the clips off the back. I dropped it, thank goodness none of the pans were damaged. So I suppose it's easier to show you guys. So this is what it looks like right here. It's got some nice purples. It's got its Amazonian clay eyeshadow shimmers, which are very awesome. And it has some awesome mattes. It's got some nice neutrals. It's got a pop of colors, but it is really a like, if you like mauves and purple nudes, this is a really awesome palette to have. I think you can still get it. I'm not sure, but I'm sure you can. Um, so let's jump in. I'm going to keep it more purpley nude for today's video because I am wearing a purpley pink shirt. So let's start playing with this guy. I'm going to take a fluffy crease brush as always. And I'm just going to make sure this is clean. I'm going to go into this color called Innocent. Innocent? This, this one right here. I hope you guys can see. Yeah. I'm just going to give it a swirl. I even, like, once the tart stamp, the logo started disappearing, I was like, whoop, that's me, I'm done, I'm not playing with it anymore. So, let's just. Blend this in my upper crease and just under the brow. I'm just going to make a nice soft glam look. I forgot to tell you guys, my face is completely done already. I will list in the description box all the products I used on my face today. But I thought I just wanted to play with an eyeshadow palette I haven't played with in a really long time. Because I do have quite the collection. So we're just going to pop this innocent colour in the crease, the upper crease, and blend it out just so it gives us a soft transition shade, because we're not going to go too crazy. I say that now, but I could. Depends. I never really have in planned ahead of what I'm going to do, unless it's like a requested video, or request from a client, obviously. I'm just going to bold this colour in the crease and towards the brow. I must admit, <clears throat> I can see why this eyeshadow palette is very expensive because Tarte makes some awesome eyeshadows and palettes and products in general. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to go into a more precise fluffy crease brush. And I think I'm going to go in with the colour, is it Iggy or Alt? 
proper insert here of the name. I have no clue how to pronounce that name. And it's this color over here. I'm going to pop that in the crease. I mean, look, like you get such good payoff with like one dunk in the pan. That is why they charge the price they do. And this is also infused with Amazonian clay. So, I mean, you're really getting what you're paying for. I'm not saying that everyone must go buy a super expensive eyeshadow palette to get a decent eye look because we all know that I like my cheaper eyeshadow palettes because to me I don't see the point in spending thousands of rands on an eyeshadow palette. Obviously I do have some, well quite a few, and I don't see the point in spending a pop lot of money if you just the everyday eyeshadow lover, makeup lover, and you don't want to do it for a living, or you can't really afford expensive eyeshadows. I mean, if you can afford to go spend 2,000, 3,000 rand on an eyeshadow palette, by all means do so. I would do it. Um, I'm just going back in with a transition shade to blend these two together. I wouldn't, if I couldn't afford to have the expensive eyeshadow palettes, I wouldn't have them. Um, not that I can afford really expensive eyeshadow palettes, but I have been lucky enough to be gifted quite a few eyeshadow palettes from my mom. She spoils me, but then again, I am the only child, so I'm allowed to be spoiled. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the dark shade. It's like a, a light charcoal. It's not extremely dark. Actually, a lot. I'm going to go in with the dark purple, which I know was my absolute favorite when I was using this palette daily. And it's called Vamp, and it's the sky white here. And I'm going to just work it in a V in the outer of my lid and crease. Just going to get a more a very precise brush. And just give it a little swirling. slowly build that colour in the outer corner and I'm kind of smudging it into a V. Just want to give it a different brush. So almost like a liner. some fallout. So I'm going to dust it away. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. In this color, pack it on the outer of the lid. Make 
make sure that they're even. I'm just going to go in with that brush and clean up any blending that needs to happen. I'm going to take the first brush that I was using and just diffuse some colour in the outer crease, corner of the crease. And now we're going to smudge a lower lash line with the same colors. So I'm going to go into the transition shade and then the darker shade and just build that color up in a crease. Just get my brush. I'll start with a more fluffier brush with a light color. Smudge it under the lash line. Same thing on the other side. Like that, and then we can get a more precise, flat, fluffy crease liner brush. I'm going to go in with that darker shade and we're going to just keep it closer to the lower lash line than the previous shade. tell now why I was starting to make dents in this palette because this is just wow I love this palette I'm going to take the liner brush a more precise liner brush and go in with our vamp color again and just keep it in the outer corner of the lash line the lower lash line dark shades meet. Okay, now what shall we do on the lid? I think we're going to go in with the colour, is it mink? Yes, mink over here, the clay shade, the clay side of the shimmers. And then I'm going to go in with the lighter colour, glam. So I'm going to keep mink towards the middle and put glam in the inner corner. Grab that mink, and even though these are creamy, I still like to wet my brush. That's what I do with all my shimmers. I just find it gives more payoff. And we're just going to fold that in the inside of the middle of the lash, the lid. Sorry, not the lash, the middle part of the lid. That. but not going over a darker line no just filling in the blanks basically just like that and then we do the same thing on the other side
so we've put down our purple shimmer now i'm going to go into the shade glam and we're going to take a smaller brush and we're going to get some of that color it's like a silvery purple very like a champagne color but very subtle we're just going to put this in the inner of the lid and then blend them together and then I'm just going to put it in the inner corner and bring it slightly down I've been loving doing this lately I think it just makes my eyes look more open and awake Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Oops, you need to wet your brush. take they have a nice white color in here that's called vintage it's a very bright white I'm just gonna clean up the bottom of our brows just like a brush Too much because we don't want a white straw. Now just blend it into our transition shade so we also don't have a big white line. Okay, and that's that. I'm just going to pop on some mascara and we'll get into talking about this eyeshadow palette that I haven't played with in years. Okay guys, so that's my final look. I hope you guys can tell. Do you see it on camera? It's just a nice soft uh, purpley brown everyday eyeshadow look I know it was a bit boring colors but it's an everyday look um and this is basically an everyday eyeshadow palette okay so that's me doing my eyeshadow with a very old expensive eyeshadow palette my first ever expensive luxury eyeshadow um I can tell why these products not every eyeshadow palette I feel is worth the amount of money high-end eyeshadow palette but that's my personal opinion I do find that you can get a lot done with cheaper palettes as well um, but I can also tell and appreciate a high-end luxury product like the Tarte Pro Palette Tarte Pro, Pro Palette and I'm very upset that I broke this a long time ago but it is phenomenal. I can understand why the price is so high on this car. But yeah, it's with the money. If you have the money to spend on a more luxe palette like this car over here, I find that it's really worth its money. There are some eyeshadow palettes that I have in my collection that I find worth their price. Um, Colourpop is a cheaper eyeshadow brand, but it is also expensive. For us to get it over here in South Africa but so it's it's more expensive than the eyeshadow palettes you're going to find at your clicks and your disc and that they your Wet n Wild, your Essence, your Revlon, your Maybelline, L'Oreal it's way more expensive than them but it is a cheaper more 
I think high-end product where Tarte is up there in price but the product is up there in quality and pigment and just awesomeness it is absolutely divine I love this palette um so if you guys want to see me oops dropping things as usual if you guys want to see me do another more high-end makeup look with an old palette that I haven't used in a while I have some Too Faced I have Jeffree Star's first ever androgyny palette. I have um, Colourpop. I have Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I've got Huda Beauty as well. I've got another palette of hers. Quite a few actually. Um, then I have the Storybook palettes from Storybook, which is an indie brand. It's more a small branded thing. I have their Witchcraft palette, which is flippin' awesome. If you want some little bit of pop of colour with a bit more neutral undertones as well um so just pop a comment down below and let me know if you know me send me a message say hey i want to see this palette if i have it i also have urban decay so just pop a message down below if you want to see another high-end palette that i haven't played with in a really long time and i'll be happy to do that for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and um, ring the bell when you subscribe so you're notified when i upload a new video um, share this video with your fellow makeup friends and lovers and thanks so much you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye